Previously on Big Brother. Dan, Danielle, Shane, and Brittany formed two secret alliances. The Quack Pack with Ian. Quack Pack. Oh, that's it. And the Silent Six with Frank and Boogie. Oh. With all the power in Frank's hands. Way to go. Some Silent Six members worried they would be backstabbed. Worst case situation right now, and I could be backdoored at this point. I am concerned a nominee is going to come down, and I could possibly get backdoored by Frank this week. And after a pitch from Will and Ashley. We're yeah. always saying how Dan was a dangerous player, blah, 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 blah. I don't even know if that's who you're targeting. I'm just talking. Frank considered backdooring Dan. Let's say Dan did go up, and we sent Dan home. Oh, that's messy. Dan is part of the quack pack. I don't want him going home. And Ian took that news directly to Brittany and Danielle. Who's he thinking about replacing? Shane? No. Dan? Dan? I think that the silent six is definitely crumbling. In the end, Frank decided against it. I have decided not to use the power of veto. But the damage had already been done. If you wanted to, you probably could have teed off on me. I won't say it didn't cross my mind, I'm yeah. honest. Frank telling me that he considered backdooring me tells me that I can't trust him. And if I get the opportunity to shank Frank in this game, I'm gonna do it. At the live eviction, Will was sent packing. By a vote of six to two, Will, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. And a battle for head of household began. Woo! <laughs> oh. Who will become the new head of household? And will the crumbling Silent Six Alliance survive another week? Find out right now on Big Brother. When we finish this, we can make out on the couch. Okay, perfect. <laughs>
You always win when you look good. Obviously, I'm happy that Will left because it could have been me. Frank was inches away from backdooring me. Heading into this week, I'm definitely on high alert. I gotta keep my tabs on this bushy-haired maniac and make sure I keep him in line more so than previous weeks. I'm really sad that Will left tonight. He left with flair, but it's gonna be a really rough week coming up. Seeing Will walk out the door is a good thing for me and my lines. I just hope that not backdooring Dan won't come back to bite me this week. Right, big bug? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were shedding some yeah. tears. No. <laughs> I'm really happy with the way the week went. Last week, Frank was HOH, and uh, he thought about pulling a fast one and maybe backdoor Dan, but I'm glad that he didn't entertain that plan any further, and he listened to me, and everything's copacetic, and I'm feeling great about the Alliance. This house, it's an amazing roller coaster ride. On one hand, you're here to battle and, and you're competing for $500,000, but on the other hand, you got, you got friends leaving. Man! <laughs> this competition sucks so bad. It's oil everywhere. I don't think anybody fell as much as me. My name should definitely be changed to Grace because I'm completely graceful, right? Yeah, no. Oh, Danielle, you all right? Poor Danielle, she must have hit the deck about 30 times. She's gonna have some bruises on her butt. Yeah, she's gonna be in some pain tomorrow. Might give her a leg massage. <laughs> oh, Danny. <laughs> you fighting, Danielle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Screw it. I, I am taking some really bad falls out here. One, I almost slammed my head right into the bucket. Careful, Ian. Oh, there's another one, I almost slipped off the entire ramp completely. Woo! Oh. Oh. I'm falling over more than a drunk girl in heels. It is just not good. Oh, gonna feel that one tomorrow. This is definitely my grandma walk. Ash is a very special girl. She's doing a cat crawl one minute, she's doing the worm a second. I don't know what this girl's doing. Ashley's technique, bless her heart, was to crawl and to do some kind of therapeutic zing thing in the middle of it. She wanted to be like an inchworm, you know, slow and steady. I don't know guys, slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> Not when you're competing with Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we've been doing the Shane boot camp. <laughs> My hip flexors are killing me. <laughs> Looks like there's only three people going for HOH. Danielle, Shane, and Ian. And Boogie's in a one horse race going for the 10 grand. <laughs> tails. I'm estimating that that HOH jug is about 200, 250 cups of liquid. And I would think that that thing we were carrying back and forth was about a half cup. I'm not a big fan of English units, but I reckon that we're looking at about 500 trips back and forth. I could be here for a long time. This one does favor people with small, girlish hands like Ian. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Keep it up. Nice Yo. work. Yeah. You look like a Looney Tunes character running up there. <laughs> The decision to go to safety for me was pretty obvious. You get a free pass for the whole week. You also get to compete in next week's HOH. Brittany's going up that hill. I mean, almost like she's just power walking in the mall. Brittany's killing the safety down there. Good job, Britt. Thanks, Frank. I'm neck and neck with Brittany for safety, and I gotta get this thing by hook or by crook. I'm hustling as fast as I can, but I look over to the side, and it looks like Brittany's on ice skates. She's cruising, and I kind of feel like an old man for the first time in this game ever. I'm hoping this week that I can get a little relaxation, but me, Jen, and Ashley, doesn't look like we're doing so good because Dan and Brittany have pulled way ahead. Got it! 
job, Brett. Nice. Good job, great. Brett. You might have to do a yeah, little stop. Yeah, girl. I am so happy that I won safety this week. It means that I can't go up on the block, but more importantly, it means that anybody else in this house can. Congratulations. Brittany's won safety, so there's no point in me continuing to fill up the safety jug because that's over. Now I gotta make a move and try to catch Shane in the HOH. Brittany wins safety. It's another failed attempt. A uh, over I got in this house. I ain't won nothing. And another chance to go back on the block. You all right, Joe? <laughs> and the lead for HOH is Shane, followed by Danielle and Ian. Dan, picking up the pace. Good job, Dan. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Mike, have you ever speed skated? Yeah. Man, your technique is down Roller pat, speed skating, son. regional champ, 1986. Holla, you weren't born, any of you. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Careful, Shane. I'm going pretty strong, and then boom, I land right on my tailbone. Kind of knocked the wind right out of me. And back is killing. Who's in second, Frank? Oh, you're, you're beating Ian. Slow it down, Ash, now. You know what, Frank? <laughs> I'd like to see you doing this, buddy. Oh. Oh. All right, girl. Oh. Oh. You good? Bam! I fall hard. This one is a bruiser. Brittany's already won safety. I'm already well behind for the HOH. It's another week in this house, me sweating it out. Brooklyn gets knocked down, but you know Brooklyn always gets back up. Oh. You fight till you can't fight anymore, then you fight some more. Roar! Oh! <laughs> That's what you get for being cute, son! There goes my street credit to you. Damn! Mike in a one horse race, closing in on the cash. Couple scoops away. Nice technique, Ash. <laughs> Trying to keep it classy. Oh, Danielle. Oh, Danielle. Please yeah. be careful. Money in the bank. Hey. Boogie has won $10,000. I won 6,000 three weeks ago. That felt pretty good. You know what winning 10,000 feels like? Awesome! Way to go, America. Good job, Bugs. So Boogie wins the 10 Gs. I mean, I'm happy for him, but at the same time, I'm wishing he could have went maybe for the HOH. I mean, it'd just be nice to have another week where I don't have to worry about going up on the block, because I've been doing a lot of that lately. Everyone left's going for HOH. Shane's in first, Danielle's in second, and Ian and Dan are tied for third. My, my back and ass are killing me. Danielle is busting it big time. I've never seen Dan want HOH so bad as he does in this competition. He has so much heart, and he is fighting for this. Dan picking up the pace. Get all effort all the time with a couple slips. I start to feel myself gaining some steam in this competition. I've passed Ian and I can feel Shane is still slowing down. It gives me hope. The only way I can be 100% safe in this house is if I find a way to win this HOH. Good job, man. Yeah. Jump in your step, Dan. Try it. The race for HOH has come down to Shane, Danielle, and Dan. Dan's the one I don't want to win. I let him know that I thought about backdooring him last week. So the last thing I want him to do is start thinking the same thing about me. Shane is still in the lead. Danielle coming in at second. And Dan has pulled away from Ian for third place. You alright, Joe? You alright? Oh, man. Come on, y'all gotta laugh up there. That was funny. Dan, 
yeah, you're kind of catching up, honey. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Go, you go. You gotta start laughing in though. You gotta go faster. And who? And she. I got Running Man over here. Shane's slowing down, and I see Dan speeding up, and I know I'm right in the middle of them, and I'm like trying to go as fast as I can, and Dan's just bolting it, you know? Much like in life, in this game, it's never over. I can do this. I know that if Shane falls or gets tired or possibly gets injured, I got a shot to win this thing. Keep it up, oh, Danny. Come on. <laughs> How close is Dan to me? Pretty close. I think you're going to have to speed it up. Fighting, man. Jeez. <laughs> there goes my shoulder. Yeah, Careful, Shane. Jeez. Too much Crisco on my hands. Got Shane. it! Woo! Good job, Shane. Good job, Good job, Shane. Nice Good job, Shane. Appreciate it, guys. Nice work, all y'all. Everyone just needs to look at their jugs. That's a lot of work. Shane is one H O H. Yeah. Good job, bud. I just won HOH. I'm in the best position possible. I have two alliances: the Quack Pack and the Silent Six. I control the vote, and I ultimately control who goes home this week. Oh, oh Danielle, no. Good job, guys. Damn. I sucked on that one. Shane wins HOH. The Silent Six keeping it running strong, keeping all the power on our half of the house. Looks like I'm going to be safe for another week. Shane wins. Our quack pack is moving upstairs. Couldn't have asked for a better result. And Shane has no ties to Bulgaria Frank, so he could make a power move that I wouldn't be able to do. Oh, man. It was probably the worst day I've had in here so far. Will walks out, my homie's gone. I take a nice little spill and uh, what a surprise! Shane wins HOH. Great, I'm happy for him. Good job. Thank you, you too. Thanks, you can't nominate me. <laughs> Sorry. Shane won HOH this week and I won safety and that's fantastic. But at the same time, we know that Frank and Boogie were heavily considering putting Dan up on the block and sending him out of the house. So it's time for us to really rethink the silent six and decide if this is a week for us to make a big move and uh, break up this alliance. to see my HOH room! We do! It's not gonna disappoint me if someone doesn't come up, trust me. Good picks. Yay! All right! Oh, there's Dozer. That's a tight shirt right there. Very nice. Is that your sister? It's my sister. Don't let Boogie see that. I saw her earlier. She ain't throwing gang signs. Oh, when I was little? Uh, there's Dozer. He's my buddy. That's my bud. The best thing that I could have gotten was a picture of Dozer. I miss him so much. It was really good uh, seeing him. Dozer sleeps with me every night when I'm home, so I'm going to put his picture right next to my bed. All right, let's see this letter. My sister, all right. Hi. Dear Broseph, this is the longest I've gone without you, and I don't like it, with the exception of the house being a bit cleaner. It's funny, Shannon. I spent the fourth at Lake Winnipesaukee. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah New right. Hampshire, Boogie baby! Knows. Yeah! Right. So my mom lives. Oddly enough, my mom lives on Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. So for a second, it got me thinking about my mom, who I miss very much. Shane grew up in Vermont, which is right next door to me in New Hampshire. It's like Shane and I are family, at least while he's HOH. Hope you are doing well in the Big Brother house. We are all so proud of you. Love your sister, Shannon. Oh, nice. Very nice. I'm laying in bed, I'm just trying to, you know, let the body rest and all that good stuff. But you know, you gotta go upstairs, you gotta show respect.
Jen, you didn't have to get up here, girl. All right. Jeez, thank you. All right, I'm going to be a part of Pooper and go lay down. No, 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 you go lay down. Go lay down, please. I'm not feeling too good. My homie just walked out of the house. I miss my friends. I miss my family so much. I have no idea what's going on. Usually I'm a pretty tough cookie, but this house just makes you crazy. I had to shed a couple tears, man. Definitely had to shed a couple tears. I need to talk to Brittany about a conversation I had with Boogie right before the live show. If you win, who are you gonna put up, Brittany? No. Who? Think about it ahead of time. With the Quack Pack in power, I want to be sure that everyone in our alliance knows what's happening in this house. Boogie in the bedroom today, he he goes, who would you put up? And I was like, uh, and he goes, Brittany. And I just told me, he was like, no. And then he goes, Shane. And I was like, yeah, 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 Shane. What do you mean they said my name? Yeah. So they're coming after me now. Yeah, I mean, that's scary. Why are they coming after me? That's what I don't get. They have to go. End of story. I just have to convince Shane that they're coming after him. Alright. We put up the two of them. We just make sure Shane does that. It has to happen. I hate to say that, but... Now that I've gotten the information from Ian, who is like our little spy, that Boogie will be coming after both me and Shane, it's like very obvious to me, there's no question that Frank and Boogie need to go up on the block and then one of them needs to go home this week. Hey, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. We haven't had one of these meetings in a while. I know. Yeah, it feels okay, nice. Okay, so to... long story short, I just talked to Ted Ian. Yet. Like they're coming after us. Obviously. The only way to ensure that one of them goes home is if you put them both on the block. I know. That's the only way. I know that. But do you understand how much blood that puts on my hands if one of them stays and wins HOH? I really do understand that you're in a bad position, Shane. I really do. I know. I just feel like it's either you get the first strike or they get it. I agree. I mean, Frank did stay true to his word last week, but he probably won't but stay true to it again. But we stayed true to our word the week before. That's true. That's we true. got rid of Janelle when he was That's out the true. door. My honest advice is if any of us want to have any hope of winning this game, we put the two of them off. Okay. Even though Boogie and Frank still think I'm playing with them, my true alliance is the Quack Pack. So if it's better for myself and the Quack Pack for Boogie and Frank to go up this week, that's just what has to happen. Do you think they have any idea that you're doing this? No. No clue because they, they tell me they tell me everything. Where's your head at, Dan? What do you, I mean, you're being kind of quiet. Like, what, what do you think? I just think if you want to make a move. Now's the time. Now's the time. Yeah. The, I mean. As long as you guys got my back, you know. I got your it, back. I mean, I know all you do. We have your back 100%. One of them will survive. Yeah. But the one who survives goes to HOH against the four of us. Right, exactly. I know. So, really, you've got the best of both worlds, because whatever you decide, you've got the vote. Yeah, absolutely. It's you. I had all intentions of staying true to the Silent Six, but it looks like Frank and Boogie are already turning on us, so I might need to make a big power move. Frank and Boogie this Frank, week, right? Frank, Frank and Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> My best friend in a place called High Bridge. It's the highest bridge over Navajo water in the U.S. It's from our hometown. Here in the Big Brother house, you have lots of downtime when you're not competing. And in that time, people like to talk about themselves and their lives. And, well, Joe, he likes to tell stories. We were throwing rocks off of it. Uh-huh. Like, I, I went like this, and my watch came up. And we watched it. We were like, holy. And we watched my watch go down with the rock. OK. I'll never, you know, see my watch again in my life. But then I turned it around, and my watch was laying right beside me. Whoa. I picked the watch up, <laughs> and on top of the watch, in heavy, heavy dust, was Greek writing. <laughs> uh, the guy just has a very colorful background, and um, I don't believe a word the man says. That was a doozy. <laughs> we owned the land where the White House is. We sold it for a mule and a fifth of whiskey. 
My dad did an Elvis impersonation. It was like five fire trucks, ten cop cars. <laughs> I broke my ass bone twice. Oh. We're at full blast, hit each other dead in the face. He picks his head up and I swear it looks like he's been shot, like gunshot. Joe has a unique way of telling stories, whatever you can say. He's got one better than you. So, you know, if your dog has really beautiful blue eyes, his dog has golden eyes, golden eyes. I named, I can't believe it's not butter. Another day with Kent. Can I ask you? Um, I don't know. I wasn't asked. You ain't gonna follow up? Yeah, I think I might have to ask. Would you uh, like to do a bit tonight? That sounds fine. All right, sounds good. What time? Nine? Okay. Yeah, we'll be there. Okay. Thank you. 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 Ashley and Frank went on a date the other night, and I'm not really sure uh, what went on during that date. I have a little bit of competition now, so I gotta definitely step up my game. Ain't nobody gonna get between me and my flirt mans. Where does Shane hide it? Look. There it is. It's right there. It's okay. Lay down, Ian. Last week, uh, Shane told me about a cream product that he uses to remove hair from his chest. I usually shave my chest, but I figured since I have a, a date tonight, I uh, might let Brittany uh, do some manscaping on my armpits. I'm really talented. <laughs> good. Cool. You're in good hands. Good, good. <laughs> Nobody wants to go out with Ian whenever he has pit hairs that are freaking taller than trees. <laughs> but there's nothing I can't do in these. What's that? There we go, Ian, close your eyes. Fresh zucchini. It's a zucchini, but you were me. Fresh zucchini. Just relax, Perfect. everybody calm down. You're very vulnerable right now, we realize that. In real life, beautiful women don't hold me down and rub things onto my body very often, so this is definitely a pretty awesome occasion. Looks like there is literally some sort of dead animal in your arm right now. <laughs> he is like a baby gorilla. It's just like nine inches of hair coming out of his armpit. It's like a multi-ferret. <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Don't move, don't move. Arm up. Come on, Ian. Can stay go. with us, stay with us. <laughs> How's the pits? No, I feel all right. Little tinge in the uh, pit region. I think the door's about ready, friends. Hurry up, I don't want the burning me. Oh. Are you on oh. the This click? is awesome. Yes. Oh my god, oh, this Braden. is awesome. Yes, I'm Braden. That's yeah, awesome. it burns like hell. Holy <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Burns god. like hell. Oh my god, oh my god, it looks like hold a dead animal. Oh my, my god. god, it burns oh so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's, all okay. right. Good job. Good job. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ian. Ian should definitely be thankful. His results turned out amazing. Ian looks so much better with no hair under his armpits. Bless his heart, the guy, they had tree trunk roots. A new man. Let me see, hold it up. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, it burns. Definitely not gonna be doing this to any other body part, but I guess now I'm uh, ready for my date. Good job, good job, ladies. Raise your Now that I'm ready for my date with Ashley, uh, gonna make her a nice pizza. It's almost done. Should be fun. Thank you. Of course. It's not bad. Pretty good. Good job, Ian. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I should have another piece. Are you full? Yeah. 
Because I had those chicken fajitas earlier. Oh, yeah, those look good. Yeah, that's my lunch, technically. Because I didn't... I forgot breakfast, I forgot lunch. I know, I heard. Did you ever go to the bathroom? No. You're going to have to go with that. Yeah, I definitely am. Ugh. I'm going to wait until it'll be easier, though. Yeah. After the second day with Ian, I've come to realize that me and him are just really good friends. And I think it's mutual. It was very bubblegum compared to the, the risque date I had with Frank. I think the date with Ashley was okay. If uh, Frank happens to walk out the door this week, I think I'd uh, be pretty happy to be a shoulder for Ashley to cry on. <laughs> Fun date. Definitely. Want it? What's up, Jay? What's going on? I'm really considering putting up Frank and Boogie. So if I'm going to take this risk, I need to bring in more players because, you know, if I put up two, one stay in next week and uh, they're going to be gunning after me. I decided to make a strong move, you know. Say I put up Frank and Boogie. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm safe for next week. So my biggest concern is if I get put on the block next week, you know, I'll at least have your info. Yeah, no, I agree. I think everyone wants the same thing and then hopefully that implies you want the same thing, so. Whoa now, Shane's ready to make a strong move. Best news I've heard in several weeks. Go on, Shane, go on with your bad self. Well, I think you know this. Yes. Your best interest is even ahead of my own. Well, well I appreciate it. Okay, that. right now, I will go out of the game for you. Well, I appreciate that. That's that as means simple as that. Because thank why? You. Because you deserve to win this. Well, thank you. This is a oath. Just under, I just sure. need, it means a lot. I'm telling you. What this is, what you've got right now, this is, oh, yeah, this right. is a military oath. And I will, in front of a bus, for you. Oh. Joe is on board. He's going to jump in front of a bus if he needs to. Um, I don't know how I can really gauge this, but uh, I do have the support and I do have the votes. And I can either get Frank or Boogie out of the game this week. To me, that's a plan. It's a pretty damn good plan. All right. I'm good, and I appreciate your word. On waiver. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> I don't ever see them doing a Big Brother All-Stars 2. There will be, but they won't call it All-Stars 2. I think the next one will be good versus evil. Sign me up for the evil team. <laughs> I'll be 44 up in this bitch. Still showing the youngsters what up! Because my man Ian is a Big Brother historian, he's constantly speculating on what Big Brother may have up their sleeve. Here's the evil team right here. Dr. Will, and they're gonna have you. Dick. Dick. Evil dick. Yes. You gotta dick. have. If I make a big enough splash, you can put me on the evil team. You think? Ian put himself on the evil team. <laughs> this kid is one of the most innocent people I've ever met. Who couldn't like this kid? You think you're more evil than him? Yeah. <laughs> really? I think. Why do you say that? Because I'm not a good person at all <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. I don't think you have a true mean bone in your body, Ian. Though uh, Boogie doesn't really know it yet, I've earned my evil stripes this season. I've completely ditched him and Frank. If things go my way, Boogie's not gonna know what hit him. You're America's sweetheart. Look at these. What? Look at this. A box with a question mark on it. Question. From what I know about Big Brother, you question everything. I question my own existence in this house. We gotta tell Ian. What the frick? You're serious. These balls were leading to the arcade room and now there's a question mark inside the machine. Yeah. I swear to God. 
Let me in. I've been trying. There's nothing in there. Where were these at? These were just leading from the glass door all the way into here. Question mark shape. It's a mean in. This mystery box cube shows up in that little claw machine in the arcade room. I see that question mark and it immediately springs to me Pandora's box is back. Ian, what is it? Search me. And I'm uh, definitely sweating a little bit and that could definitely screw things up big time. I mean, the magic cube shows up and like this game is so crazy. It's crazy enough without the dumb cube. Now I have to run upstairs and talk to Shane and make sure that his head is still on straight with everything is discussed with today's nominations. You think the balls mean something part of a riddle that we gotta figure out? They could be. I have no idea. Maybe the, what the POV is gonna be? I don't know. I hope it doesn't affect like what I'm about to do. I don't think so. This could be a huge twist or a game changer, so I really need to think about things. What are the chances do you think it's gonna affect my decision for nominations? Not. <sighs> Why, what do you think? I don't know. I'm just, that's my, my biggest concern. I, I make a big move again, put those two up on the block, and somehow they come off. Mm -hmm. If they win something. You only swing at big targets when you know you can take them out. I thought that I had it this week, but with the whole question mark box, it might be better for me to go for floaters this week. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. Leading into nominations, I mean, Will is already out the door. You know, the people upstairs who have been in power, they're just gonna continue picking us off and I might be next. The Quack Pack is in power. Shane could put up Boogie and Frank, which would be good. He could get rid of one of the floaters. They're really pesky because I don't want them sliding by. No matter what way you slice it, I feel that my key is gonna be in the box. So that's always good. Going into nominations today, I feel great. On a scale of one to 10 of safety, I'm feeling about a nine. Shane, who's in the Silent Six Alliance with me, will nominate someone besides us. The Silent Six Alliance was bound to break up at some point, and I'm really hoping that that's today and that Shane will put Frank and Boogie up on the block next to each other. I have a very tough decision to make. If I nominate floaters, that obviously leaves some heavy hitters in the game, and they might come after me. But if I put up Frank and Boogie, I could be starting World War III in the house. Hey everyone, it's time for the nomination ceremony. This is the nomination ceremony. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. I will pull the first key, that person is safe. That person will then pull the next key, and so on and so forth. Brittany, since you won safety in the HOH competition, you cannot be nominated. Here is your key. Joe, you are safe. 
Ian, you were safe. Thank you, Shane. I've nominated you, Boogie, and you, Frank. Um, you have prizes, you have twists, and ultimately clues that um, completely fade your decision making. Um, that's pretty much all I can say at this, this time. I'm sorry, it's nothing personal. Um, I'm giving you a chance to fight for POV. Um, this nomination ceremony is adjourned. I'm sorry. The Silent Six is a wrap. Forget about it. I can't obviously be in an alliance with someone who would nominate me like that, but I certainly cannot be in an alliance with someone who gives the most ridiculous speech in head of household nomination history. Oh, well, there's like prizes and like a clue. Get over yourself, man. Time to play the veto and get myself off the block. I'm definitely happy that Shane stuck to the plan. We basically just ended the alliance. So it's definitely going to be a bumpy ride this week, but here's to hoping we can stick it out and ultimately get one of them out of the game. My heart, it feels kind of broken right now. We did our best to try to build trust with the people that we're working with, and they repay us by putting me and my tightest ally and friend in the house up on the block against each other. And knowing that there's a good chance that at least one of us might go home this week, it doesn't feel good at all. If we don't strike first, you know, if Boogie and Frank get an opportunity next week, part of my alliance, they might go up and I have to protect both me and them. So I gotta strike while the iron's hot while we have the numbers to get someone out. This is really exciting. I'm in a great position. This game respects big moves. And best of all, Boogie and Frank didn't see this coming and they sure don't think I had anything to do with it. Hopefully, they never will. Who will win the power of veto? And will it be used to take either Frank or Boogie off the chopping block? Find out Wednesday at 8, 7 central on Big Brother.